In this video, I will show you how to fully delete and replace a shared parameter from inside a Revit project. Firstly, I need to demonstrate the problem. If I select this door here, in the instance parameters, I have a parameter called door access control, and I can see it has a tooltip. However, unfortunately, I have missed key pieces of information in this tooltip, and really, it should say door access control requirements. I therefore need to edit this tooltip, but I need to do this by editing the shared parameter file. Note, if you are not aware of how to update the shared parameter file outside of the Revit environment, then I highly suggest you watch my other video. A link can be found in the description. Here I have the shared parameter file, and I will open it with a text editor, in this case Notepad++, and I will update this door access control parameter with the new description of door access control requirements. I will now save and close this shared parameter file, and go back into Revit. It seems logical that if I go to Project Parameters and I remove this project parameter, which has the incorrect version of the tooltip, that when I add a new project parameter, navigate to the shared parameter file, and select the new parameter. If I click Edit to open the Shared Parameters dialog box and select Access Control and select Properties, I can see that the tooltip demonstrates or displays the updated description. So when I select the Doors Access Control parameter to add into Revit, I should expect the same thing. However, note that the tooltip description displays the old tooltip. And when I add into Revit, like so, and select a door, the tooltip still displays the old tooltip text. Now, this is because when a shared parameter is deleted from the project parameters, it still remains inside the Revit database. I'm going to delete the parameter again. And in order to view this parameter within the database, I'm going to use a plugin called Revit Lookup available on GitHub with a link in the description of this video. I go to Revit Lookup and I snoop the database. And I scroll down to Shared Parameter Element. If I scroll down, I can see that I still have the Door Access Control parameter as an element within Revit. I need to fully remove this parameter from the database in order to be able to add the parameter back in to read the updated tooltip. I can see that the parameter has an element ID, the six digit number here, and also in the ID field and value here. So I can make a note of that value, close the lookup tool, and I can go to Manage, Select by ID, and I will type in the ID of the shared parameter. Click OK, and I can see that an element has been selected, and I can see the name here. If I now right-click and click Delete, 
This has now deleted the shared parameter out of the Revit database. I'll go back to add-ins, Revit lookup, and if I again scroll down to shared parameter element, the door access control parameter does not exist. I can now go to manage project parameters, add, select the shared parameter, and I can now see that the tooltip description is updated to read the correct text. Click OK and OK again. Select a door. And now if I hover over the parameter, I get the updated tooltip. So that is how to truly delete and replace a shared parameter from a Revit project file. Note that this parameter did not have any information in, and so I could delete it and replace it without the worry of any data loss. However, you may need to add temporary parameters to copy the data across to whilst replacing the shared parameter file. But this method can also be used for updating Revit template files as you update your shared parameter file.